Well, Antonio asked me to share how he and I met. As many of you know, I am a full-time magician. I performed uh, three years ago. And for that, Antonio Googled around looking for an entertainer. And he got a hold of me. I sent him a quote, and I didn't hear back from him. <laughs> I was on my way to another performance, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to be driving right by this guy's office. So I loaded up my car with a couple of extra things, some gifts. And I stopped by Antonio's office. I said, is uh, Antonio uh, Cardo here? And I thought, oh, he'll come out, shake my hand, and that'll be the end. So he comes out. Hey, good to meet you. We go into his office. We sit down. We talk for half an hour. We share our different lives, our, uh, things that are going on in our family. I give him a couple of gifts, and he says to me, Al, that was very Italian of you. <laughs> I had no idea. I thought that was just being nice. But he hired me that day, and we have been in communication and done uh, that thing, and we were going to do the last couple of years together. We weren't able to do that. And I just love his family. And so I'd like to bring up Antonio and Natalia Accardo right now, please. They become part of my family and remain my client for life. Antonia really has a strong sense of our client's unique needs. Many of our clients introduce us to their friends, co-workers, children and grandchildren. How we define success is to maximize your full potential in the financial planning process. We're here to optimize whatever hand you've been dealt and allow you to retire with dignity and according to the retirement lifestyle of your dreams. Finally, if there's a dollar left behind in your estate, we help you ensure that it goes where you want it to go, to your heirs, to your favorite charities, and not all to the government. How's everyone doing? Nice to see everybody all in one room. It's, uh, it's really a pleasure for my wife and I to host you all here tonight. Uh, kind of a tough party this year without my dad. Uh, I think that was a wonderful tribute. But uh, you know he's not here physically, but I'm sure he's here in spirit. So uh, one more round of applause for my dad. So what can I say? Uh, it's really, really great to be all together with you tonight. Um, I think that the number one thing that we have to be proud of is the fact that we're able to do it face to face again. It's been three years, right? And yeah, absolutely. And so uh, just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope you're going to enjoy the show. We have a great show. My good friend Pasquale is here again. Right? He's always here, right? <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, Tamia and Zolt uh, are going to be performing what I think is going to be an amazing performance, ballroom dance, professional ballroom dance. And then we'll have a little surprise after that. How's that? Okay. So great. Merry Christmas. And uh, I think you wanted to say something, sweetheart? I just want to wish everybody a happy holidays. I hope you spend time with your family. Maybe somebody's coming from far away or somebody next to you. Just have fun, enjoy your family, enjoy your kids and grandkids. Thank you for coming. Wonderful. Okay. We're going to talk about financial planning. Who wants to do that? I'm just kidding. I <laughs> do. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just wanted to. <laughs> That's right, I'm not. <laughs> so, welcome to our party. I wanted to thank you all 
for being a part of Accardo Financial. We've been uh, around for 15 years and counting, and uh, many of you uh, have been with me since the very beginning. And you know, we have a lot of new faces as well, which is great. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you all for your trust and confidence, and just know that we're always looking out for your best interest, okay? And so we have a, a bigger team now. Before it was just me. Who remembers when it was just me? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have a, I think, a really, really good team. So this young lady over here, Carlana, or many of you know her as Lana. She's my executive assistant, and she's my right-hand woman, let's say. All right, she is amazing. I would not be able to do what I do without her help. So a uh, round of applause for Alana, please. And then of course, this beautiful lady who decided to marry me, God be with her, uh, is a remarkable, I think, client events coordinator, right? She organizes all of these events, right? Thank you, sweetheart. And here we have our financial planning director, Emerald Bonansea. I'd like to have Emerald and Lana and my wife to please stand for a minute so everyone knows who, you know, what they look like. There we are, Emerald, Lana. Financial planning, very, very important, very important. And here we have our Business Processing Manager, Shar Winfrey. Shar, please stand. There you are. Great work, Shar. Next we have my good friend, Gary Varan. Our kids go to school together. He's our Brokerage Services Director. Gary, please stand. Wonderful. And here, <laughs> these guys somehow convinced me to come and work in the family business. <laughs> so we've got Antonio III here, freshman at St. Mary's College. <laughs> and here we have Alessandro Accardo, freshman at De La Salle High School. And then, of course, we have a really good bench. <laughs> Angelo Accardo, senior at De La Salle High School. And this next gentleman, I think, is probably the most promising of them all. Adriano Accardo, third grade, St. Agnes School. So thank you all to the team, and again, thank you all to everyone here. I appreciate and uh, value your trust and confidence. So we have some news. Starting January 1st of 2023, we have a new company headquarters. It's gonna be at 325 Ray Street in Pleasanton, California. And I fell in love with it right away. When I saw this building, I fell in love with it right away because it looks very Italian. Who agrees? Right? I thought I was in Amalfi or Naples or somewhere, right? So this is gonna be our company headquarters, but of course, we're gonna maintain our satellite offices. Uh, Foster City, uh, which is down in the peninsula, of course. Uh, Walnut Creek, uh, Fremont and San Francisco. So, but this is gonna be where I'm gonna be spending most of my time. And as our team expands, we'll all be, I think, be able to serve you a lot better than, uh, you know, just me, right? So I appreciate all of your trust and confidence, like I said, and that's it for me. Enjoy the show, all right? All right. Is this, uh, is it working out? Can you hear me on that, over the PA? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. 
We did a little uh, switch technically. Well, uh, we promised you some music tonight. <laughs> yeah, Pastor Cross got nothing on me, baby. All right. So, uh, I see, I need to find. Oh, uh, this gentleman right here. Uh, what is your name? Craig. 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 I, I don't mean to uh, indicate anything uh, by this, but you look like you might be old enough to remember a band called the Beatles. <laughs> Am I right? All right, great, great. I'm a big fan of the Beatles. I know all their songs. I've been a fan since the 60s. Uh, as a matter of fact, I watched that oh, seven and a half hour documentary on the Beatles that was out. And in that, they did some music that had never been recorded. I know those songs also. Every song the Beatles have ever done. Craig. Big loud voice. Name a Beatles song for me. <laughs> Love Me Do, all right. Now, Craig, it's gonna sound a little bit like You Are My Sunshine, but you use your imagination. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Won't you love, love me do? Hey, I didn't say I could play them all. I said I knew them all. All right. All right, Craig, that concludes my part of the musical program this evening. Uh, Craig, I'll tell you what, we're going to move into the essay portion now. How many grandchildren do you think I have? It's more than one and less than ten. <laughs> Eight? Wow. All right. What did you say, eight? All right. Now, if we were to, if we were to do, um, oh, choose a color between a black and red, what would you choose, black or red? Red, all right. So you said eight, you said red. Now, if we were playing cards and you had the red cards, would you want uh, diamonds or would you want hearts? Hearts. Red hearts, all right. Now, every magic act has to have at least one element of danger. This is mine. Fire, good. All right, Craig, you said eight, and you said red, and you said diamonds. That means we must have, whoa, right here, the eight of hearts. Yeah. Aha. Whoa. Smoke alarm. <laughs> uh, okay. My pants are on fire. Liar, liar. Okay. Well. I am very happy to introduce our featured entertainment this evening. Would you please put your hands together for Pasquale Esposito! It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> it's the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be all good cheer. It's the most. Passion of my board, so I can't beat it. It's the most wonderful time of the year. With the kitchen go telling and everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be much mistletoeing and hearts will be glowing when love will turn near. 
In this historical room, let me tell you why. For many years since you watched my first PBS show, I've been in touch with a mentor, a mentor that is very inspiring to me. And his name is Mr. Tony Bennett. And uh, talking with him, he was telling me that it was in this room that on 1961, this next song was performed for the first time. I like to sing this wonderful song that talks about this great city, San Francisco. Enjoy. The loneliness of bodies seems so sadly gay. The glory that was wrong is of another day. I've been terribly alone and forgotten in my heart. I'm going home to my city by the I left my heart in San Francisco. I want to hear it calls to me.
without even saying a word. And she came out at the end of the show. I said, so, I, I, I used to call her Donna Sofia. I said, Donna Sofia, did you see what happened? You were there for 15 minutes. She said, of course, I was smiling. <laughs> amazing, what a power, what an, an amazing person. There was another mentor here in San Francisco that was here during a a sad time, the earthquake of 1906. He was performing in San Francisco in opera. His name was Enrico Caruso. And uh, he was so humble that he was bringing comfort in the street to the people who lost their house during the earthquake, singing in the street of San Francisco. I'd like to sing for you one of the most famous songs that was written during the 80s. It's called Caruso.
You know why? Because this was a difficult year for her. I don't want to take your chair, you can be here. <laughs> I'll stand here. And uh, I'd like to tell you something about this wonderful family. This is not a, this is not a business. I, I myself have been starting to work with Antonio for the past one year. And you cannot believe he has been a light in my darkness. And it makes me feel like part of his family, like every single one of you, I'm sure you feel that. So close to him, and we can trust him 100% because he, he brings you in as part of his family. Well, they had uh, an, a tough year this year, and I'd like to dedicate a song because to this lady because uh, life goes on, uh, but something will always be in your heart.
song, what do you think? Why not? Siempre que te frente I know you want to see it Cuando yo I can see it I siempre I can see it Quizás, quizás, quizás Es de lo que me Si pasan los días Y yo Desesperando Y tú Tú contestando Quizás Estás perdiendo el tiempo yo pensando, pensando por lo que más tú quieras hasta cuando, hasta cuando y así pasan los días y yo desesperado. Oh, 
before we start dinner. Buonasera a tutti. Good evening, everyone. Today is a very happy occasion for this beautiful party. And this is not only just a party, but this is one big happy family. Great. I'm, I'm here with my family, and Tony always gave us the best that we have. So now I was going to say the blessing for the meal, in the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Bless us, O Lord, that gives from what to receive, from what to receive, from what to Christ, the Lord, amen. Bon Natal a tutti, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year, and God bless all of you. Dinner will now be served. All right, enjoy your meal. <laughs> 